applications of inertia equation potential metric it is an electroanalytical technique is used to determine amount of unknown substance present in the given solution principle it involves determination of concentration of ionic species in solution by measuring the potential developed at the electrode requirement it consists of two electrode indicator electrode which is platinum and reference electrode usually calcium electrodes use the electrode whose potential depends upon the concentration of ions to be determined called indicator electrode it, you know very well it is impossible to measure the potential of single electrode so it is combined with a reference electrode directly to form a cell the potential of a reference electrode remains constant calcium electrode is one such reference electrode which is extensively used in potentiometry as the potential of the indicator electrode changes with change in the concentration of ions in solution emf also changes this change in emf is measured and the results are interpreted usually by graphical method by using law of volumetry we can calculate the amount of solution present in the given solution potentiometric titrations potentiometric titrations are those titrations in which end point is determined by measuring the potential or emf during a course of titration when titrant is added that means measurements are made while titration is in progress now we will use this potentiometric technique to find the amount of iron present in the given solution using potassium tachymeter here analyte is ferrous ion solution whereas titrant is potassium tachymeter the basic parts of potentiometry are saturated calcium electrode indicator electrode ph meter with a millivolt scale magnetic stirrer and magnetic guide analyte is ferrous sulfate solution and little amount of sulfuric acid because ferrous sulfate acts as a reducing agent only in presence of sulf sulfuric acid medium or acidic medium titrant is potassium dichromate when the titration is commenced both fe+2 and fe+3 ions are present in the solution developing an electro potential which is picked up by platinum wire thus platinum electrode behaves as iron electrode which is represented as shown in the figure you apply the nernst equation to this it comes out to be like this e is equal to e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log of concentration of fe plus 3 divided by concentration of fe plus 2 it is combined with the reference electrode and and emf of the cell is also measured during the titration fe plus 3 concentration goes on increasing whereas fe plus 2 concentration goes on decreasing as k2c2o7 solution is added continuously gradually change in the potential also occurs near the end point there is a abrupt change in the value this is mainly due to change of electrode shed from iron to chromium which is represented as shown in the figure and uh, nernst equation for this e is equal to e not of e not plus 0.0591 divided by n log of concentration of chromium 6 concentration of chromium plus 3 so these are the rough values during the potassium titrations against k to c to o7 it is as you can see in the beginning there is a gradual increase at equivalent point there is a abrupt increase this is mainly due to change of electrode shed from iron to chromium it is when the emf value is plotted against the volume of titrant curve of the type as shown in the figure is obtained the midway along the steep part of the curve represents the end point as there could be an error in deciding which point is the midway an analytical method of identifying equivalence point is more accurate that is why first derivative 
value that is delta E divided by delta V versus volume of titrant is added. When first derivative is plotted, the maximum point corresponds to end point is obtained. By using law of volumetry, we can calculate the amount of iron present in the given solution. First, we will calculate the normality of ferrous ammonium sulphate by knowing the strength of potassium dichromate. Finally, we will calculate the amount of iron present in the given solution by using this solution. Normality multiplied by gram equal weight of iron it is. Advantages of uh, potassium titrations. The end point obtained is more reliable than any other conventional method of titrations. Accurate results can be obtained even if the solutions are colored or turbid. End points of neutralization, oxidation reduction, precipitation, complexation, even other reactions can be obtained from potassium titrations. Examination Kara. The first question related to derivation of Nernst equation by using thermodynamical concepts. Uh, or the same question they may ask in different way. They may give the <coughs> Fe and Fe plus 2 reactions. For that you have to derive the Nernst equation. Summary. We learned derivation of Nernst equation and applications of potentiometry.